Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about square roots, and we'll cover a couple examples on how to calculate square roots. And we will conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what are square roots? Recall that square numbers are numbers multiplied by itself. Let's consider a couple examples. So firstly, we have 1 multiplied by 1, which is 1 squared, and that's equal to 1. And secondly, we have 2 multiplied by 2, which is 2 squared, and that's equal to 4. And finally, 7 multiplied by 7, which is 7 squared, and that's 49. So, square roots are opposite of squares. Essentially, we will go from right to left to obtain the original number. So, we have the square root of the number 1, which is this number, and that's equals to the square root of 1 squared, which is this number here, and that's equals to 1, which is the original number. And secondly, we have the square root of 4, which is this number here, and that's equals to the square root of 2 squared, which is this number here, and that's equals to 2, which is the original number 2. And finally, we have the square root of 49, which is this number here, and that's equals to the square root of 7 squared, which is this one, and that's equals to the original number 7. So, Square roots are opposite of squares. It allows us to go from the right-hand side back to the left-hand side to the original number. And so, the square root and the square cancels out, and you're just left with the original number. In the first example, we're asked to calculate the square root of 25. So, with square root of 25 as equals to the square root, and we can rewrite 25 as 5 squared, because 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. So the square root and the square cancels out, and we're left with the original number 5. In the second example, we're asked to calculate the square root of 81. So we have the square root of 81 as equals to the square root, and we can rewrite 81 as 9 squared because 9 squared is equals to 81. So the square root and the square cancels out, and we have the number 9. In the third example, we're asked to calculate the square root of 10,000. So we have the square root of 10,000 as equals to the square root. And we can rewrite 10,000 as 100 squared. And the square root and square cancels out, and we're left with a hundred. In the fourth example, we're asked to calculate square root of 16. So we have the square root of 16 as equals to the square root of, and we can rewrite 16 as 4 squared, because 4 squared is equals to 16. So the square root and square cancels out, and we're left with the original number 4. To summarize, recall that square numbers are numbers multiplied by itself. So with 1 squared as being 1 multiplied by 1, and that's equals to 1, and 2 squared as 2 multiplied by 2, and that's equals to 4, and 7 squared as 7 multiplied by 7, and that is 49. So square roots are opposite of squares. It allows us to move from the right-hand side back to the left-hand side to obtain the original number. So we have the square root of 1, being this number here, as being equals to the square root of 1 squared, being this number here. And that gives us 1, which is the original number, 1. And similarly, square root 4 is equals to the square root of 2 squared, and that is equals to 2. And square root of 49 is equals to the square root of 7 squared, and that is equals to the number 7. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics Minutes.